Thank you for joining us on this week's final spring edition of UTRGV TV. I'm Jacqueline Arias. And I'm Nidal Cantar. And UTRGV TV starts now. The Environmental Awareness Club and other organizations at UTRGV led the fourth annual climate march in downtown McAllen. Our reporter Diana Moreno attended the event to bring you more. The community marched to Archer Park to take a stand for environmental justice and to celebrate the rise of climate awareness. It's the soil. No more coal, no more oil. Keep your carbon in the soil. The Environmental Awareness Club and other organizations from UTRGV held the fourth annual RGV Climate March, where Valley residents gathered to march from McAllen City Hall to Archer Park in downtown McAllen. I spoke to the co-president of the Environmental Awareness Club, Suzanne El Hajj, about how climate change affects the community. When it becomes hotter because of climate change, um, then we cannot grow certain produce. So already in the summer, it's too hot to grow some produce. So um, if it becomes even more hot, then we can't grow in the fall or the spring, and that'll affect the local economy, that'll affect the farmers and what they can grow, and that also affects, it becomes inhumane to allow migrant workers to go out there in the heat, really, and pick produce. They want to build these huge pipelines that go all the way from Corpus Christi down to the valley. Um, so just imagine a huge pipeline going super deep in the ground, the possibility to leak or break, and those pipelines are near water systems, and if it would contaminate a water system, that would be detrimental to the underground water, and it'll just cause this domino effect that eventually affects us. We are the Pueblo, we are the people, you know. And that's Attendees enjoyed live speakers, music, vegan tacos and fruit, chalk art, and informational tables. The theme for this year's climate march was Progress Begins With You and focused on supporting farm workers and protesting the liquefied natural gas pipelines. Julissa Roman, an organizer of the RGV Climate March, talked to us about why climate change is such a serious issue. I think when people talk about the environment or climate change, you should really pay attention because it's not like the hottest topic since it, you know, people don't want to believe in that humans are causing a rapid change in the climate of Earth. People don't want to see the environment as part of a community that we belong in, but rather just resources that we take from. If you'd like to know more about environmental protection and how to be a part of it, you can contact the Environmental Awareness Club through Facebook. As concerns for climate change continue to rise, Valley residents will carry on their fight to bring awareness to the issue. From McAllen, for UTRGV TV, I'm Eliana Moreno. The UTRGV Philosophy Department holds their second presentation of their series, the Voices of the Valley on Trump. Our reporter, Renata Cruz, has the details. The South Texas Health System is back for the third year with the Beat Stroke 5K. Our reporter Kenya Gomez has a story. May is National Stroke Awareness Month, and for the third year, the South Texas Health System hosted the Be Fast Beat Stroke 5K to raise stroke awareness in this area where, unfortunately, strokes are very frequent. Well, Rio Grande Valley has a high incidence of diabetes, hypertension, um, obesity, and those are risk factors for stroke. So we want to uh, educate the community. For Ayla Cantu, a three-stroke survivor, this 5K is very special. I had no movement in the right side of my body, so um, so it means a lot to even run. Um, I was not able to move my right arm, my right leg. Um, 
I wasn't even able to hold my son. The South Texas Health System treated around 700 patients last year, and their purpose is to decrease that number. Cantu wants to remind everyone that no matter what the obstacle might be, you can always overcome it. You can, if you set your mind to it, you can. You can do whatever you want. And I did a 5K, which I never thought I would be able to do. Anne McAllen, for UTRGB TV, Kenya Gomez. For Autism Awareness Month, Student Involvement hosts a panel inviting the community to learn about autism from local experts. Our reporter Rocio Villalobos brings us more. Autism awareness is a cause that's personal to our department and for our uh, students in just that we want to make sure that all students are equally served. So um, personally, myself, I'm all about accessibility and it's all about access to programs, access to information, and in order to really better our university and better, exact, uh, better what we do to service our students, we want to make sure that everybody's knowledgeable and aware of different issues. The RGB community hit the ground running with the pre-physical therapy 5K Color Fest. Our reporter Aisha Palma brings us more. What was supposed to be a day filled with color paint, water balloons, and lots of fun turned out to be a rainy day. But despite the weather conditions, runners, just like Ricky Montoya, didn't let the rain stop him from participating in the 5K. It's like really cool, it's rain the rain. You just feel it. It's kind of like a little motivator for you. Usually it's just hot or you're just dripping in sweat. But um, in this 5K, it was really fun because there was a lot of rain. Regardless of the physical activity that the race would have required, the Garcia family was looking forward to their first Color Fest run. So I think it would be more fun as far as the, as the rain is concerned. So. Yeah, it's just fun. I mean, we're already gonna get color on us. A little bit of rain isn't gonna isn't gonna hurt. Not even the cancellation of the race due to the rain stopped the organizers and runners from having fun and receiving their medals. Event coordinator Claudia Cedillo is still hoping to have an exciting and memorable day for the rescheduled 5K. We are going to reschedule, and when they register through Active.com, the kind of site we use they um, input their emails as well so we're just going to use those emails to kind of send them directions as to like where and when this whole thing is going to go down again even though the date has not been decided yet event organizers will send out emails informing participants about the new location and details for the upcoming event in edinburgh for utrgb tv Aisha Palma. Valley children take a break from homework to celebrate Mexico's holiday Dia de los Niños at the McAllen Public Library. I went out to bring you the text story. Here's Daniel Galvan with his final sportscast for UTRGV TV.
What's up, everybody? My name is Daniel Gavon, and this is my last UTRGV TV sports cast. Now, usually I'll talk about sports, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to be selfish and just talk about myself, which me being selfish, completely unique in you. Um, but I just wanted to spend this time in my last video after four and a half years with Bronx TV, Bronx Radio, and eventually UTRGV TV and UTRGV Radio, just thanking a few people that helped me out along the way. Um, so let's do that. I mean, the first person I would like to thank is the first person I ever ran into here at UTPA UTRGV, which would be Mr. Mann, Mr. Fred Mann. Um, the thing about Mr. Fred Mann, I think, is if you look at any student he's had, whether it be someone like my Uncle George, who was his student back in McAllen High School, uh, towards anyone he taught here at UTPA or UTRGV, I think the thing they would say is he was one of the best educators that they have ever had. And that is true. I mean, Mr. Mann was the best teacher I've ever had in any walk of life from middle school, high school, and college. I remember um, when I graduated high school, I attended Texas A&M, and it was a great six weeks. It was That's how long it lasted. I was on the Johnny Manziel college plan, and uh, you know I was kind of uh, in a bad place after attending college for like six weeks. It was a rough first semester, so then I enrolled in UTPA and feeling down in the dumps, but the very first class I ever had uh, was in this building, TV production one with Mr. Mann, and simply put, uh, being in that class and, and having Mr. Mann as a teacher completely changed my attitude. Uh, he was a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, educator, a great communicator, and surely I would not be making this video right now uh, if it wasn't for Mr. Mann. Mr. Mann, again, thank you so much for everything you've done for me and all your students. Another person I'd like to thank is Dr. Nick Taylor. He's the advisor for UTRGV TV. And aside from just being a really cool guy, which he is, uh, uh, the great thing I want to thank Dr. Taylor for is giving me an opportunity to make videos, to make weird videos. He trusted me and he believed in me and that he let me take chances with some of the videos creatively. And, and for that, I'll be forever thankful for. Uh, so thank you, Dr. Taylor. I want to thank everybody that I ever worked with from Bronx TV to UTRGV TV. There are literally hundreds of people at this point. I've been in college for way too long. Um, so too many people to name, but everybody that ever helped me out with the teleprompter or uh, helped me edit, etc. thank you so much. Um, I, I really appreciate it. And uh, just some people individually I like to single out. Nathaniel Puente, Mark Lopez, Dan Morales, Javi Guerrero, JP Hernandez, just a few people who anytime I had a crazy idea, they were like, let's do it. You know, let's go to the island. For what reason? Uh, I want to dress up in a Santa Claus costume. Let's go. Like, that's the type of attitude those guys had. And I'll always be thankful for them. They also could just be enablers for, for my bad ideas. Um, I would also like to thank the UTRG volleyball team. Some of my favorite videos uh, featured me talking about them and all the success they've had over the years. Uh, the winning the WAC championship was amazing. It, it was so cool to drive to Austin to cover them taking on UT in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Some players individually I, I like to thank. Bojana Mitrovic, uh, simply put, the best athlete I've ever covered. Uh, just an amazing athlete both on and off the court uh, for UTRGV. And the and the school should totally are indebted to her and what she and her teammates have done. Barbara Coog, who has been featured in a lot of these videos, uh, she was such a cool person to work with. And uh, she, the, her ability to talk to squirrels is kind of unmatched. Dubrovka Vakoya. Uh, there was a video where she shoved cake in my face, and that was absolutely my favorite video I ever made. Just that whole video was real fun, so thank you for that. My face still hurts. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Jim Bob and, and, and Dirty Mike and the boys. Uh, you guys know who you are. Uh, so there's a lot of other people to thank, like my parents. Thanks for having me. That's dope. If y'all didn't have me, I, I wouldn't exist, obviously. Um, but I also just want to leave you guys with some advice. Not that you should take it. You know, I'm 22 and still unemployed. But here's my advice to you, especially if you are doing something creative or, or you like making content or whatever this thing is called. My advice to you is simply to not listen or not care about, excuse me, what other people think. To me, the most beautiful type of art or whatever you can make is stuff that comes from within, stuff that you care about, stuff that appeals to you. Uh, just because the one thing you bring that no one else does is your own point of view, your own life experiences, your own attitude and emotions. So I would say when you are making stuff, just make stuff that you like. Um, maybe other people won't like it, but I think that that 
will put you in the best position to achieve whatever success you have. And I, I think you got to really be focused on the process of making stuff. It, you should not be concerned with the results because frankly put, uh, the results for most people is not what they want. It's really hard to be really successful because there's a million things going on and only so many eyeballs. So if you fall in love with the process of making stuff, that to me is the key. Uh, if you aren't concerned about what the results are, but you're only concerned about having fun making videos or writing or, or doing whatever, that's the advice I would give. You know, we kind of live in a society that we live in a society where like everything has an audience, whether it be on social media where you got to brag about having the dopest Big Mac and the most amazing workout, the greatest transformation Thursday and the most fantastic woman crush Wednesday. We are constantly performing all the time. It's in our pocket with our phone or when we're walking along the hallways. So what I would say and something that I will steal from somebody in Bo Burnham and not just with this, but in life is that if you can live without an audience, just do it. Reporting for you, TRGV TV. Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm Daniel Govan. That's all we have for you today. But remember, if you have a story you would like for us to know about, you can contact us through our social media or email us at utrgvtv at gmail.com. We have community and UTRGV news for you every week. See you next time and good luck on your finals.